Okay, well, I'm still working on this um, motor generator uh, 3D print project that is based on the Muller Dynamo project from many years ago, 2011. And uh, here we are here at uh, 2021, 10 years later, and uh, I've learned a lot since those days. And anyway, the, the last video I showed, I, I had a top plate here on the project which was it was running in and you couldn't see the rotor so i went ahead and uh, bought i found these uh, uh acrylic discs that are eighth inch that worked just fine for what i wanted to do and uh, that made it so you could see the rotor and do what i wanted and then i changed the rotor to just four magnets and made it a four coil four magnet pulse motor uh, this is the complementary transistor circuit that I'm using in most of my long-term running projects now. It's just extremely simple. It's very reliable and it works quite nicely. Um, the coils I have here are 30 gauge 9 ohm in a series pattern. In my long-term running projects, this is much finer wire and much higher. Uh, ohms, but uh, this is what I wanted to hear for this particular project. I'm running on a button cell right there and the amp draw is anywhere just two to five milliamps with um, a variable resistor there the generator coil is out of a 240 volt ac relay it's fine wire 15,000 ohms to get the voltage i need from the rpms that i'm going to turn it up at anyway this uh it doesn't have an on off switch at all you just spin it up And uh, once the RPM gets up to a certain amount, it starts triggering the circuit. And then the generator starts kicking in as soon as the RPM gets up high enough. And uh, there it is. And there's your motor generator that that uh, I wanted. I wanted something that was uh, very simple to, to look at and operate it. I might clean this up and add circuit boards instead of these prototype boards so that it's uh, better. But that's basically what I've got is a four coil, a darning needle running in a brass rivet down there, which worked out real good. And then the plexiglass um, hole at the top is all, all I needed for the top bearing. And for this kind of a display item, this is really all you need for a motor generator type of display that um, you drive it with power going in here. Power comes out here. If you use a fine enough wire generator coil, you can get a voltage that's at least as high as that, if not higher. And you can show an LED lighting up, even though the amperage is not the same as the amperage going in here. So you're less out coming out here. The voltage is high enough, but the amperage is less. So it looks like it's kind of like maybe going to run itself, but of course it won't. But anyway, that's that's where I'm at with this thing, and uh, this is this um, motor generator project based on my old Muller Dynamo. A lot of fun. Thanks for watching.